When you live through sickness, when you live through sickness, hello y'all, I'm Diana Breanne. Well, I don't give advice, recommendations, suggestions, or information. I just share with you my perspective on different topics as is with this one. So what happens when someone is sick and it's going to be a longer term illness? It's a sickness. It's not just like getting a cold and getting over it quickly. Well, you know, that's a pretty tough road to travel, I must say. And yet, I will give my perspective on it to the best of my ability. Remember, unless we've walked in someone else's shoes, we're really not going to quite know exactly how we would respond um, to the exact situation. So everyone is going to respond differently. Going through a sickness is tough, it's difficult, it's challenging in many, many different ways. Not just being sick oneself or being around someone sick, but it's an emotional, it can be an emotional roller coaster, it can be a financial roller coaster, it can be a lot of other things besides just the sickness itself. Sickness affects relationships, it affects celebrations, it affects fun, it affects just about every aspect of life. And so when one has a longer term sickness, um, first of all, my heart goes out to them. And I believe that one just does the very, very, very best that they can. They get great medical care to the best of their ability. I believe in keeping a positive attitude, staying focused on wellness, even though one may have to be momentarily or even longer term focused on not feeling well and being sick. Sometimes all you can do is just say, I just want to feel better. I just want to feel better. And, you know, I know people that have gone through major life changing illnesses and uh, it has lifelong effects, whatever they've been through. And my heart goes out to them. And like I said, unless you've walked in someone else's shoes, you can't really say exactly what you would do. But I believe in keeping hope. I believe in keeping focused on wellness instead of just on sickness. And yet when you're sick and not feeling good, you are going to be focused on that sickness and that's understandable. You do everything to make yourself comfortable during that time while you hope and pray for wellness and continue on the road of wellness. Surround yourself with comforting people. Surround yourself with wise people, informed people, uh, skilled people, skilled professionals. Um, you know, when you're sick, it is a challenging and difficult time. It can be a scary time. It can be um, a, just a hard time all the way around in life. And so you just do the very, very best that you can. Still find ways to enjoy your life, even with a longer term sickness or illness, in my opinion. And sometimes that's not always easy when you're not feeling good. You know, how can you enjoy life? But on the days that you're having better days or moments that you're having better moments, um, you know, um, do all that you can to find comfort um, and do all that you can to get well and do all that you can to find things that make you happy during that time. Be patient with the people around you. And if you're dealing with someone sick, please be patient and understanding to their sickness because it's it's very challenging on you, the caregiver or the person who's around someone sick, but it's extremely difficult for the person being sick. They don't wanna be like that. And sometimes, most of the time, they feel like their life is somewhat out of control because it's beyond what they can control entirely. Some sickness we can control um, by making right decisions, other sicknesses we cannot fully control. All we can do is react in the best ways that we can. So those going through challenging and difficult times in sickness, my heart goes out to you and be patient with yourself and be kind to yourself, be loving to yourself, be thoughtful to yourself, understand the people around you are going through a difficult time too and the people that are taking care of people who are sick, um, be good to yourself as well. Well, I've done a video or videos on being a caregiver, caregivers, and um, you know, that's a very, very hard and yet a very important role. And so just take care of yourself all the way around and stay focused on wellness and, and stay hopeful 
and continue to be good to yourself and love yourself. From my house to yours, may God bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe to all five of my channels. Links are pinned at the top of the comment section below. If you connect with me, I will likely connect with you as well. Hope to talk to you then. May God bless you. Bye-bye.